feet up and just left and went back to um Milwaukee or like I just saw him jump in the car like he just left went and went back to his home state what about the other dads for the other kids my oldest his dad wanted me to have an abortion he said uh if you're not don't call me anymore he saw him like seven times uh my second he had a cocaine um addiction third oh god completely random <laughs> Completely random. Was it like a a, a a customer or something like that, or just, just yeah, some random Yeah, kind guy? of. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Why do you say yeah. kind of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Huh. It was. And so, you know, when your kids get older, and they ask you, and you know, one of them is fifteen, so old enough. So if your fifteen-year-old will ask you, "Mommy, were the drugs more important than us?" What's going to be your response? What's up, YouTube? Thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing. Listen, if you want to support the channel financially, hit the super thanks button. Any amount is much appreciated. Now back to the content. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with another one. Um, so we got a young lady out here today. How you doing today, miss? Can't complain. Doesn't help. <laughs> I know that's right. I know that's right. So, are you homeless? Yes. Okay. Um, and so, how old are you? 35. 35. And so, how long have you been homeless? About five or more years. Okay. And so, are we talking about five years straight or five years on and off? <laughs> like, pretty much straight. You know, can I go into detail? Yeah, absolutely. Like... <clears throat> someone stole my identity uh, I have to prove that I'm me during this, all this pandemic crap and I get it so so hold on real quick so, so let me ask you this. do you have kids I do. how many four and how old is the oldest 15 and how young is the youngest two okay um, and so they're all minors who do they live with my parents in Alabama okay all right and so have you ever been married no no all right, um, and so let's just start from the beginning. So where are you from? Alabama. Okay, what part? Birmingham. Man, shout out Alabama. Shout out Birmingham <laughs> all day long, man. Y'all know I love I Alabama. Got, I got shot eight times in Alabama. Uh-oh, all right, well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. All right, so so, so you're from oh Birmingham. Um, growing up in Birmingham, did you have both your mom and your dad in the household? <laughs> Somewhat. Were they married? Yes. Okay, why you say somewhat? Because they got a divorce. At what age? How old were you when they got divorced? About eight. About eight, okay. And do you have any brothers and sisters? I do. How many? One brother, three sisters. And so where are you in the birth order? <clears throat> I'm the youngest by my mom, the oldest by my dad, <laughs> and the middle when we're all together. Okay, okay. I get that, I get that. <laughs> okay, all right. And so, growing up, would you say that you had a fairly normal childhood? Uh, it was some abuse. How old were you when that happened? Five. And who would, who abused you? Um, partners of my mom. So like your mom's boyfriends? Yeah. And was it just at five or did it continue beyond that? It continued. <laughs> Up to what age? I say at least... 13 and you know I I'm not very good with time <laughs> that's fine that's fine okay all right so you know did you go to high school mm -hmm. okay did you graduate yes okay any college Some. what college Virginia College in Alabama <laughs> that's the name of it Virginia yes. College in Alabama like yes no it's just Virginia College but it's in Alabama it's in Alabama yeah. okay all right Okay, and so um, was that in Birmingham as well? Yes. All right, all right. Okay, and so, so you know, you're 35 now, um, and so you say you've never been married, right? No. All right, so how many different dads do we have with the four kids? Four. Four different dads? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got 15, we got two. What are the other two ages? 
for. A quick break, but so you say that the, the ages are 15, 6, 4, and 2? Yes. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, so has there been any history of drug use? For me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what drugs? Cocaine, marijuana. Okay, crack? All right. And so aside from marijuana and alcohol, uh, as far as the crack goes, when was the last time you smoked crack? Today. Okay. All right. And so when was the last time that you saw your kids? Five years at least. So is that how long you've been here in Atlanta? Mm-hmm. So what made you come here to Atlanta? And the guy killed two people and shot me eight times. I was the only one that made it, so I was no longer safe. What happened? He lost it. Who he, was this? Was this someone you knew? Uh, a, a smoker. Okay, so you were smoking in Alabama? Mm-hmm. Okay, and he just kind of lost was, it? Yes, he did. And he shot how many people? Two people. He killed two people and shot me eight times. Wow, and you survived? I'm the only one that made it. Mm. How do you feel about that? Living doesn't feel so good all the time. Because he's not here. He was my best friend. The guy who, one of the guys who died? My best, yeah. Okay. So, what age was the first age that you smoked crack? Probably about 23. About 23? What made you start smoking crack at that age? Because we come from a generation where we knew what effects crackhead had on, you know, on, you know, what the, what we call crackheads. So what, what made you become that? I got gang. It was at least 14 or more guys just back to back. I would wake up, pass out, wake up, and they're still having sex with me. How old were you? About 23. Okay, so that was 23. Mm -hmm. And so, is how did that relate to you start smoking crack? Like, when I woke up, this guy, like, put it to my mouth and lit it. I was so scared, you know. I would I would have taken anything, you know. I just didn't want to feel feel. I I was scared. I didn't want to feel it, you know. I would have taken anything, and it was like the best thing I ever tasted. How did you end up in in the room with 14 guys? I had a pimp. <laughs> and I didn't know. I, I was clueless. I went to this house that was just like nothing but guys. And I mean. So you had a pimp? It started off. So, yeah. so, so you started off what? I like started off. They were just like, let me see you dance, you know? <laughs> They were recording me and stuff, and it just went from that to, to just like getting physical, you know. So, what age were you when you started prostituting? Yeah, I say about the, the same time, twenties. Okay, so in your twenties, what made you start doing that in your twenties? Addiction. What were you addicted to at that point? Okay. Well, I mean, you said the first time you did it was after you got gain rate. Like, well, so, but still, like, in my 20s, you know, when I had the pimp or whatever, you know, I was on the internet. So he had you on, like, back page and stuff like that? Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, when you was doing that type of stuff, what would be the lowest amount you would charge? At your lowest? 80. Okay. And you would give all that money to the pimp? Yeah. Tell me the psychology behind that. Why do women choose to do that? Fear, being lonely. What did the pimp do for you? Gave me a sense of security. I, I mean. Did you stay with him after that, the gang? Mm -mm, no. But I, I had a, like another one. I'm not sure the time frame. But like with the other one, I started like withholding money and he punched me one day or whatever in front of this other girl. She did nothing, you know? And so 
he left and I went in his bag and it was $200 in it. And I caught the bus from Washington all the way from to Alabama. Washington State or Washington DC? So that's where you was you was doing a lot of your activities. No, nah, like I had met this guy, flew to freaking DC. The same guy that you're talking about that punched mm, you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. And so I mean, so why has it been five years since you've talked to your kids? Since I've seen them? Yeah, since you've seen them. You know, uh, it was no longer safe, you know. You know, they think it might have come up that they will come here and stuff. It's just everybody's schedules. I can I can never get to Alabama. I've been terrified. Because they said the guy that shot me worked for the, the police was paying him to kill people so i don't know i was it's trauma and i just i'm, I'm still scared. But, but you say you have a two-year-old right mm -hmm. so did you have that two-year-old while you was here in atlanta <laughs> yes and so that was with the guy here in atlanta yes was that someone you was in a relationship with yes. or so where's that dad at oh man he up and just left and went back to um Milwaukee or like I just saw him jump in the car like he just left went and went back to his home state what about the other dads for the other kids my oldest his dad wanted me to have an abortion he said uh if you're not don't call me anymore he saw him like seven times uh my second he had a cocaine um, addiction. Third, oh God, completely random. <laughs> completely random. Was it like a a, a a customer or something like that, or just just yeah, some random Yeah, kind of. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Why do you say yeah. kind of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Huh. It was. And so, you know, when your kids get older. And they ask you, and you know, one of them is 15, so old enough. So if your 15 year old will ask you, mommy, were the drugs more important than us? What's gonna be your response? I mean, of course, you wanna say no, but you know, in order to be anything to anybody else, I have to be a whole, a whole person, you know? And so, Do you feel like you abandoned them? Definitely. You know? How does it make like, you feel? Like, really, my first two, you no, know, you know, they were with me everywhere I went. But I, I was using, you know, my last two, you know, I think might have been, you know, cocaine in my system, something like my parents. Kind of like just two of them. But I don't know, the system's corrupt at the same time, you know. At the same time, you know. When I lost my first one, I just lost it, you know. I had like no motivation. I just went downhill. So let, let me ask you this. So have you, you've been here five years. Have you tried any of the homeless programs and those things? Uh, have you tried Sober Living America or, or any of the programs? No. No, so do you have a desire to kick the addiction to crack? Absolutely. And so are you doing anything to act on that yes. desire? What are you doing to act on that? Um, my brother's looking into rehab. Uh, everything's starting to open back up and stuff so if i have to just go through like the emergency department you know what i mean okay just just you know ride ride it through you know and just let them give me the help you know give me the help i need do you do you have a desire to reunite with your kids one yes. day yes okay all right, all right. Well, listen, miss, we really appreciate you taking the time, answering all of our questions. 
Um, if anybody out there just wanted to send you some kind words and positive words, um, encouraging, uplifting messages or comments, do you have a way they could do that? Do you have a social media or anything like that? No, because, you know, I have to be kind of like off the grid and so. stuff. Okay. All right, miss. Well, we definitely wish you nothing but the best out Thanks. here, okay? Make sure you have a good one, all right? Awesome. All right.